All right, all right, all right. And welcome back to another exciting episode of the Planet Gen X podcast. My name is Sean. That over there is Brian. And we are so damn happy to see y'all. We, we missed you. It's been six days, seven days, whatever it was. And, and, and I got a little lonely without you. I got to say. So alone. Yeah. Yeah, I missed you bad. But, you know, it's all good because we're back together again. And we might have some new people checking it out. So if you're new, check it out. Hit that subscribe button, right? Okay, thank you very much. Hit the like or whatever. Anywho, man. So I was watching this this guy. You know, I mentioned him before, Sidetrek. Mm -hmm. And he has finally come out and said that Star Trek Legacy is a done deal. The Amazon who he, he suggested was probably going to be this, the company that did the financing, uh, they have they have signed a deal with Paramount. Yay! Yay! So, don't know a lot of details other than uh, it seems that the Star Trek Legacy will actually be a prequel to the Picard movie. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, so... Okay. I think we'll... What did I say? Late 25? Probably? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. They're gonna have they're gonna have to have time to get it out. Uh, they could probably get it out before them, but that might be pushing it. I don't know. Right. Hopefully, hopefully the world doesn't fall apart before then. It'll be all good. We'll get some new Star Trek, like with a TNG flavor. You know, I miss yep. that universe, man. I really do. Picard, Picard, gave me that little dose, man. Gave me that get that little uh, that little hit to get me. Hooked again. Damn it. Well, I just love the fact that, you know, uh, on on my, I don't know if it's Freebie or Vizio, whatever, but um, there is a TNG channel. Oh, yeah. So. I believe you know, that. You can always flick that on. Yeah, I think Pluto had, I know they had a Star Trek channel. I think it channel. is Pluto. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I seem to recall that icon. Yeah, Pluto is... Is cool. It's very cool in a lot of ways. However, if you want to watch an entire show, like like back to back episodes, and and you can't do it. It's all aired out of order. Yeah, it's yeah. way out of order. Um, if you're just the kind of person that just likes to get some random shit that you used to see, you know, when you were a kid, and you're just like, oh, I'm gonna pop it on and watch an episode, then you know, it's all good for that. Well, that's that's the great thing about TNG, right? Is like I've seen every episode. I remember most of them, so they they can drop one out of a three part series, and I'll be like, okay, yeah, I remember all the rest of that. Yep, yeah, and drop me in three seasons later or whatever. No doubt, Lord knows I've seen them enough, and we're watching TNG and Deep Space Nine together right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. So that's that's cool because I was getting we just finished up the classic TOS series, and. Uh, I was getting a little TNG Jones, man. I'm telling you, I, yeah. I, I've got, I get, they hooked me. They, they said, I got, I got to have some, I got to have it. It was a good show, man. Yeah. I mean, it really was, man. The whole, I mean, like the whole, just the, the universe, I'm talking deep space nine Voyager, just that whole time period was, it was just a wonderful time. Yeah, it really was. It really was. But uh, I guess you've also seen, since we're talking Star Trek here, Discoveries, Season 5 and Final Season, official trailer dropped the other day. Yep. Yeah. I'm happy that it's going. Yeah. Very happy that it's going. I don't hate it. It's watchable, but it's just not... I've just never really cared about the characters. I dislike immensely most of them. Uh, mainly just because it's like if Star if Disney got a hold of Star Trek, that's what it would become, and yeah. it's essentially what it is to me. I, I'm of the opinion, in all of the uh, Star Trek lore anyway, that the ships are characters, and that is mm -hmm. the one character in there that I would make the exception for is actual Discovery. I will give you that one, very much so. Yeah. Um, I I just thought. It certainly was pointless at the beginning. They just went off the rails, dude. They had this whole grand plan of the Klingon War, and that that was just so much glossed over. I thought, yep. I was like, "What the fuck? Where where's the war at?" 
Oh, every, oh well, I mean, over. yeah, they came at it strong. You know, they they went with a lot of the uh, established lore, big characters from lore, and all this other stuff. Yeah. Just kind of like, yeah, they shit the bed big time. They fired everybody, got all new people in. You know, um, second season was a little better, but honestly, it wasn't until they. So they sent him into the future, which they did exactly what I said they should have done in the first place, and that's go to that time period. Actually, I said the 29th century. I was thinking Enterprise J type uh, times. You know, we didn't. We got to see the. We got to see Archer on board the Enterprise J. You got to see a small corridor and a uh, L cars display of the Enterprise J, and that's all we got. And I was so I was like all about let's let's explore this time period. We know the future people are in that area. Why not? It's so already set up for us to be there. Um, so they kind of did that. They went beyond it. I think it's what thirty first century or something like that. I can't recall. I believe that's I, what I it is. I think it's thirty first. <laughs> might yeah, it might that. be thirtieth. Yeah, a lot of the material I don't even remember watching just because I, I kind of checked out while I was watching it. <laughs> But it's just so different. But, I mean, essentially, they just rebooted it after the second season. They're like, fuck it, we're flinging them up into the, the 30th, 31st century, whatever it was. And, uh, honestly, it got better. Uh, they kicked uh, Tilly to the curb for a little while. It got better. Um, yeah. I just can't stand her, for one thing. I mean, she's just the worst. And that, oh, God, in that in that video... She looks like she's freaking pregnant, dude. When they kicked her to the curb, she must have just gone straight to fucking binge eating or something. I mean, just feeling sorry for herself or something. But, uh, yeah, I'm not happy to see her back at all. They were doing some kind of what? A Star Trek uh, Academy deal, I thought, that they yeah, were going to do with I, her. Yeah, I thought I heard that, too. Yeah, well, thank God that we were spared that. Oh, man. Can you imagine? That'd be something else I don't watch, like uh, the cartoons. I don't watch them. I yeah. Well, you know what I would have watched? I would have watched the Star Trek Academy with uh, Picard in it. Absolutely, man. His years. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, that is definitely a thing to do, the Academy. But why not do it off the Legacy universe instead? I'd rather see it come out of that. If we're going to see it, because an Academy fucking show would be stellar. We've already had a game, you know, years back. So the idea is definitely a good one. I would love to see it. Before we uh, go on to another subject, I'm going to switch gears here real quick. Uh, I didn't write anything down, but I, I'm sure it's come across your desk. A lot of talk about next season of Andor 2. Andor, right? Oh, really? See, I haven't seen nothing about it. Oh, uh, dude. I, that should get your pants on fire, dude. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I love Andor, dude. I mean, yeah. so far, it's simply the best Star Wars that's been made in years. And I think a lot of our generation agrees with that. Yeah, it's so good. So good. Yeah. Chef's kiss. <laughs> so, yeah, check that, check that info out because I'm sure it'll get you excited. Yeah, I will definitely do that. I'm sure... Once I do, we'll be talking about it likely next week. Right. More than likely. I was just thinking, too, before we finished up uh, the uh, the um, Academy thought, if you're always, which I hear, we're always trying to get the kids into this, the kids into that. So if yeah. you're trying to get the kids into Star Trek, well, make something a little closer in age. You know, these, these um, cadets would be, you know, in their early 20s. Late teens, early twenties. So, well, the teens were kind of the the exception, right? That was like, um, what's his face? Is that Wesley Crusher? Wesley, yeah. yeah, Wesley. Shut up, Wesley. Yeah. So I'm just thinking another another good reason to do it, and I'd even be down with that. I don't care if it's got some like teen angst and shit and all that good stuff, you know. Yeah. The the. Uh, the romance has gone wrong, like it's the end of their world and shit, but they haven't even lived. <laughs> you know, you know how it is. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I, I kind of find myself wondering if there would be another way to shake it up, like, you know, transport them to like another realm or something and like yeah. make it a threatening realm, you know, bring bring some more to it. So Dawson's like Creek classroom. <laughs> so like Dawson's Creek Star Trek isn't working for you then. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. 
Because that's what I'm thinking they might have had to do, something like that. I mean, you could still make it cool, but it would have a very Dawson's Creek type element into it or any of those shows like that type deal, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, I guess you saw a damn dude, like Cyberpunk, another update come out. Yep. And it's, Let's just hit it out there. Now, in fairness to them, they, they, they do put a lot of bugs out when they do updates. And it breaks a lot of stuff. Bless you. Thank you. Um, so you're essentially, welcome. that's what this is. There's no... <laughs> what's that? I said, and you're welcome for the mute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. I don't even have a mute button for that. I, well, you could. I guess you could go through the trouble. Anyway. Um, anyway. <laughs> 2.12 uh, is the is the number and it is essentially just a fix for 2.11. Right. It uh it broke some stuff and they're just trying to fix it. Man, I and we're not going to dwell on this. Again, kudos to CD Project Red. They're just on top of their shit. Yeah, I'm just upset that uh, every every time I sit down to play it again, it's a new update and all my mods aren't working. <laughs> Dude, tell me about that. I, I am a little irritated with that. And while I'm talking about irritation with the game, man, you know how much I'm loving the Pacific Drive, and I think it's... I know you were looking forward to it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh did I even mention? Yeah, I've played it. I'm playing it. Um, of course, at my slow pace that I normally play things. Right. But um, so I got into... I got So the first kind of deal you're doing is just kind of getting you orientated then i go into the first kind of mission right and lo and behold i go and i'm like oh dude i hadn't saved in a while i probably need to do that because you know how it is yeah i go to save can't save here we go again god damn it dude i'm gonna have to auto save or a problem Uh, no I, i you can save when you're back at your little garage place which uh, that that whole thing doing that too, they kind of have a hokey workaround for that. Um, so to finish my point about saving, we'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, it's just like I complain about in all games. You got to get through that whole fucking mission, and then you can get back and save. But to get back, so you're driving around right, and you're getting to these points, and you're you know searching for stuff, and you got this thing you got to do. But instead of just driving back the way you came, they're like, oh, it's impossible in this realm to do that. So you have to go to these, like, I forget what they're called. They're, they're areas where you can set off this device and it'll just basically, like, teleport you back to your garage or whatever. Right. And it's like, mm, okay, that's a little weak, but whatever. I mean, it, it gets you back to your garage without having to drive through a bunch of nothingness, I guess. They could so, have been a little more creative with it, I thought. They They just do, like, a save slot with no checkpoints is what you're saying i guess so dude because so all i can all i can tell so far is that it seemed like it was doing some kind of auto save i may it may have checkpoints at least right yeah. yeah okay but um so i was like in the middle of the mission i wanted to save and actually turn the game off that's where i have a, a problem and i yeah. don't like being locked in like that because it, it had it been a real emergency, I would just I would just had to say fuck it, I'm fucked, you know, just yeah. shut it off. So, you know, I've, we've talked about it before. I'm just not down with that. But this is a really great game, and I'm I'm willing to overlook it. So far, it's the only bad thing I've really noticed. And or you for, can time travel back to the '90s and do what we used to do. <laughs> yeah, I would love turn to the TV it. off until 24 That's right. hours later. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, yeah, now it's all about, you know, I gotta run on my electric bill. And it's gonna right. run, you know, the heat from the damn thing. Cause, like, dude, I just noticed the other day that my simulator, when I put it on pause and it goes to the screen, uh, which is a menu screen, it pings out at 100 and it Ooh. starts getting hot. And I can't, yeah. I can't count how many times I've left that fucker sitting there, you know, for a hot minute, literally. Um, so, yeah, I've stopped doing that real quick it's like oh well i try and find places in the sim where i know it's only going to run low or something like that so no menus can't do that and just pause in game i guess or something like that well no i guess well there's such thing as this live pause thing you could do i don't know know. okay yeah but you're enjoying it otherwise oh yeah yeah, yeah. very much so you got to try the game dude civic drive is really cool really cool um I would like to get back to my other game though. Day, day what did I say it was? Day, uh, days gone. Yeah, days gone. Yes. I got to get back to that one too. I haven't played it. 
at all since Pacific Drive came around. This is the problem I run into every time, man. Every time. So, um, did you see again Apple Vision Pro in the news? Of course. They now have another issue. I'm just loving this shit, dude. It's just so fun to me. Uh, they have a stress fracture issue in the front glass, right down the freaking center. I wonder yep. why, because it's bent this way. Yeah. Um, geez, they didn't R&D that very for, well. For much less than $3,000. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they didn't R&D that very well, or, well, that obviously had to be what it was, or it's the material they've used, but people believe it's just because of the heat, the intense heat, and then it cools down, yeah. you know, and this is I why I tell to people... Imagine that Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. I was just going to say, this is why I tell people to leave their computers on and not turn them off, turn them on, turn them off, turn them on. It's the same thing. You're stressing these computer components out. They they expand, they contract, they expand, they contract. Yeah. So just let them expand and be done with it. I, I would imagine that the, the R&D was done. What happened had more to do with accounting. <laughs> could be yeah they were people, like you know what we could do this a whole lot cheaper and then nobody consulted the <laughs> yeah the one the investigatory team the one place they should have spent money was on the glass for sure yeah right i mean they're always talking about gorilla glass this and whatever you know uh i don't know what the thickness of that glass is i have no idea but i just think it's it's funny because they've just had one issue after another because this is the second week we've brought up issues we brought two last week and one this week not looking good. Not looking good at all. I know our friend Jason has a has one. Did you see that? So, I, I didn't. I, I I'm not really on his social. Oh yeah. I'm not well, in, on any social to be yeah, honest. No, you're not. Um, yeah, he has one. So I, I really, really need to get him on here so we can talk to him about it and see, you know, uh, because he's a user of of very many. He's had quite a number of different uh, AR and VR headsets. Yeah. So. I mean, he's as far as my friends go. He's definitely the uh, foremost authority, and you know, he's been in that circle since Jesus for a long time, for a long fucking time. Well, if I recall correctly, I don't remember if we've actually had conversations about it, but I'm pretty sure he was also a fan of that author I mentioned, William Gibson. Yeah, it's kind of the father of oh, all. Oh yeah, this. I'm sure he is. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, it, it seems like something that would be really up his alley. So. I can I know for sure it goes back to at least 2016 and and I I can almost say safely that it goes well before that but uh yeah so. like always a fantasy before that right yeah oh yeah yeah but I know he was getting like already writing like he was doing YouTube stuff I know that and uh, yeah. I think he was writing a book at the time so uh he's definitely Hit us up, bro. <laughs> yeah well it's a matter of me hitting him up and finding out when he's got time you know because we may just have to adjust our schedule to his right um but you know how i'm bad about hitting people up about things can't say i'm any better right i always tell people i'm a terrible friend dude that's what i told my friend mike Berg a couple of years ago i'm like so sh shitty friend bro i was just wanting to say hey hey what's up i didn't talk apparently, to you apparently this is how most of my friends keep in touch with me <laughs> that's how you do it man how you do it it's like like you don't want to keep in touch hey i just for one i hate to talk on the phone so i don't want to do that um text and you're about as far you're as far out as i am you know we live out in the middle of nowhere so yeah. it's not really reasonable to commute that much right mm -mm. no i'm definitely not wanting to get out and go hang out anywhere either anymore just not that i miss guy. it i mean i i can tell it you know that the fact that we don't do that anymore has had an impact on us. Yes. Not just you and me as individuals, but all of us. Yeah. No doubt that I would love to be able to go to Jay's house, you, me, wife, just hang out. For, but see, I'm always conscious of is, is she digging it, you know? And then, right. then I start to feel like I'm just forcing her to be somewhere she don't even want to be. And then, see, so we just, I just don't do it because I just feel like I'm dragging uh somebody into something they don't want to be in but maybe and then maybe i'm just making all that shit up my own head, trust me know? and if jay's watching this it's meant in jest it's in humor jay will make sure that will not happen <laughs> <laughs> right jay will engage the shit out of her <laughs> yeah no i think it would actually be fun we may maybe we do need to do that 
We do. We need maybe need to try. Maybe. Maybe the the wives will like. Cause I don't. I don't think they've met. No, they haven't. Anyway, one last thing before we go. Hopium. Yeah, man. All I saw Ministry hope. had a new album. I'm like, holy shit, gotta check that out, bro. And uh, then I saw the name. I'm like, holy shit, that's fucking hilarious. Hopium right. for the masses, which is all y'all know who are Ministry fans. Their their old album, Opium for the Masses, um, which was a fantastic album. God, it was so good. All, they all had merit in my Yeah. Opinion. Oh yeah. No, no. I'm just saying, it's, it was a great album. Um, they are. They do. They have a lot of great albums. And this album, I haven't heard the whole thing. I've heard about half of it. And I'm like, yeah, that's ministry, dude. And that's why I love it so much, because it is ministry. It's what you, it's what I hope to hear when I've turned it on, and that's what I heard. Yeah. And cool. So I'm fucking happy as shit. Have you heard any of it? I haven't. I, this, this is actually news to me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You got to go check yeah. it out. Apparently, they're going to be here next month. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've always... Uh... I don't know if I'd say I was a fan, but I've always been interested in Al's work. Yeah, yeah. He, they, I mean, he's doing cool stuff, but uh, it's going to be in a very intimate venue, too. It's at a brewery, so hmm. it's kind of weird. I don't know. It's in a part of town I don't want to be at. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Without giving our town away, you know, or well, near us anyway. But um, yeah, man. So when you get a check, just like, you know, we can listen to anything now for free. So go check it right. out for sure. <clears throat> I'm sure Spotify or YouTube Music or somebody has it. So. Yeah, I don't know. I was I was actually thinking about music uh, earlier today, you know, reading this and whatnot, and um, I actually saw a interview with Maynard uh, about Tool, and it gave me a whole lot of new respect for him specifically, but the band as well, because he takes. It feels like a different approach than a lot of art, other artists take. It, it's like he gets out of the way of his bandmates, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, yep. everybody's like, here's here's what I got, and he'll like try to thread in melodies and and do, and work work with what he's got, as opposed to like trying to hammer somebody into like, this is what you're doing, right? Yeah. Tool's an enigma to me, man. Like, yeah. I just don't know anything. I know a little bit more nowadays, but uh, they they just had so much mystique. Like, <laughs> I never knew anything about them, dude. I Like, I never read any interviews, knew nothing about them. As far as I knew, they stayed pretty quiet. Um, there's not a lot of doing shit. doing it right, man. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of shit around or their drummer until recently in the last few years. Yeah. So, um but yeah, I just thought they kept to themselves pretty much. You know, there's probably if you're really, really into Tool, which I never really was, uh, I like a lot of their music. But uh, I'm not a yeah. Tool, I mean, I wasn't like, like fan. some of our friends who were like, oh, right, so right, cool. right, right, right. But I was like, yeah, that's good. I like that. Right. Yeah, yeah it's very it's listenable. Awesome. It's cool. I appreciate the art of it. It's very unique. Yeah. Um, everybody in that band is is doing something different. Um, the most of their peers, so I, I can dig that. Yeah, uh, I had uh, was it Enema? En enema? I always called it Enema. En enema. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how the fuck you say it. Yeah, but uh, I had that album and I loved it. I mean, I really did love it. But I still, at that point, didn't know shit about the band. Couldn't tell you what any well, of them fucking looked like at all. I mean, for me, it's to take a look at them, and I don't know if these were these were on separate albums, but you can look at songs like Three Libras and freaking Sober, and it's just like, how do you go from this to that? I know. But they do it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very different, everything. And that's another thing I was going to say, like, the you know, Sober, that that video is it's one of the most popular videos, out, but you don't see them in the video. So again, right. you're like, you just, I just didn't know. I, I, they were just a mystery to me, man. Just like, just had some great music, but just, didn't know what they were about, man. Which not is almost, the great music, man. Yeah, almost <laughs> makes them a little scary to me, like a little spooky to me, because you just don't even know what they're about. Right. Yeah. It's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, you got anything else, man? Dude, guy? I think that's it, bro. Gen X forever, baby. Yeah. 
Well, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We love spending these 30 minutes to an hour with you every week. Shooting the shit, talking about the latest nerd shit. So please, thank you again. If you made it this far, please remember to hit that subscribe button, that like button, or the dislike button. We gotta know. Throw us something in the comments. Tell us what you would like to see, right? Yeah, no doubt. Like What we need more of, what we need less of. Yeah, if there's a direction, please. Yeah. Feedback is good. If it's so bad, I'll just ignore it. I promise. <laughs> yeah. But all right, guys, thank you so much. As always, be excellent to each other, and da -da 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 -da. we'll see you on the flip side. Peace out. Thanks, everybody. Yeah.